Customize your site. In this tutorial, we'll cover three things. The first is how to edit the home page, second, how to edit the menu, and third, how to view the site as a student. You'll begin with your course site open, and you're going to click on Options. This is where we can begin customizing. And I'm going to paste some text into the text box editor and begin formatting using the tools above. I'm going to highlight. And now I'd like to create a link to the blog. So I take that URL, I highlight the text I want to link, and click on the link icon. I'm going to set the target as a new window. And now I'm going to create an email link. So where I say we welcome your feedback, I'm going to add a link for our Sakai support at unc.edu. All right, now I'd like to add a picture. I can do that by clicking on the picture icon. I'm going to browse the server, and I don't have an image there, so I can find one on my desktop and upload it. Of course, I have to remember to upload it, and then I'll see it displayed. I need to select it. The dimensions are a little bit large, so I can scale those down, add my alternative text, and click OK. And I'm going to use the text alignment to center my image. And so once I update, there's my edited home page. Next, we're going to edit the menu. So go to Site Info and click on Edit Tools. This is where you add or remove tools. I'm not going to use the gradebook or the syllabus in my tutorial site. So I click Finish and now my menu just got shorter. But I do want to add a link. And so I do that by adding the web content tool. This will put a link directly on my menu. So the first thing I do is type in the UNC Sakai blog and I add the URL for the blog. But now I want to add one more thing and that's a divider. And this is just going to visually separate parts of my menu to make it easier to read. Now you can see there's my divider line and my blog link. I'm going to use page order to move things around. And so I just click and drag that divider and the link. And then I can turn off options for students in the site by dimming the light bulb. Great. And so you can experiment by editing the text, etc. Click Save and there's my menu. And I've put the things that are hidden from students underneath the dividing line. Now let's view the site as a student would see it. You can view the site on the right, and now notice the menu. It has changed quite dramatically for the student view. It makes it really simple. Later I may turn on those tools for students, but in the beginning I might want to start very simply. A common mistake is to forget to exit the student view. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you check out our other tutorials.